Hi, welcome back. On this video, we're going to give you 55 ASL basic signs for what? Going back to school. All right. At the end of this video, I'm going to give you some basic sentences that you can mix and match some of the vocabulary you're about to learn. So not only will you learn some new vocabulary, you're going to learn how to use that vocabulary as well. So let's start. All right. So we have school. Okay. School. Two hands like this. Okay. And let me show you a really common mistake. It's not school. Okay. That's incorrect. Put your fingers together. School. Once, twice. School. All right. Now you might ask a student or a child or a friend or a, you know, this is a grandchild, whatever. Okay. Hey, are you excited to go back to school? Are you ready to go back to school? What do you think some of those answers might be? They might be nervous, five hand, slightly curved, nervous. See how that comes out? Nervous. Another way you'll see nervous signed is nervous. Imagine your legs and you're speaking before a big crowd. You're, ner you're nervous. Okay, so two signs, nervous and nervous, all right? Hopefully not too many will answer this, but some might say, oh, you know what? I'm scared. Scared. You take your hand like this. It starts from almost an A hand like this and it comes out like this, scared. Okay, like we've talked about so many times in the past, your facial expression is so important here. Hey, I'm scared. Didn't work, did it? Okay. Oh, are you scared? If you're asking the question, if you're answering, oh, I'm scared. See how big the eyebrows went? Okay, scared. So we had nervous, scared, hopefully a whole bunch of you can say, I am excited, excited to go back to school. This isn't I love you, okay? Middle fingers, alternating up, okay, on the chest. Excited. I am excited all right, to go to school. Now, you might ask some of your junior high kids or high school kids, and they may say, yeah, no big deal. It's the same old thing. Why hands in unison going around? Nah, it's the same. No big deal. Whatever. It's just the same experience as last year. All right? So in school, you're going to learn some subjects, some terms. Let's start with some math. Math. Okay. Not an M all the way over, but an M with your fingers outstretched. Okay. Math. Okay. How about some basics? You can add. This may be a little more difficult than you think. See how the fingers come together as they come down and they meet? To sum, to add. All right. Think of adding numbers in a column. You're taking them all together and totaling them. Add. Okay, add. How about subtract? Subtract. My non down on the hand. I'm taking here, I'm grabbing and pulling it away. Subtract. Okay, subtract. How about to multiply? Multiply. Two Ks like this, multiply. Okay. This is also the same sign to calculate or to figure, right? When we're talking about math, um, vocabulary. Okay. Multiply, multiply, divide, divide. Imagine something like this, one hand on top of the other, and you brush them aside. Divide, divide. Okay. And as a teacher, as a parent, whatever you're going to ask, Hey, how much or both hands, how much? Okay, what was the answer, right? How much numerically? Okay, how much one hand, how much two hands? Either one is fine. Uh, it's like, you know, the, the, the more you know, official version, right? Or just, hey, how much? What was your answer? How much? How much? Okay, let's go to science. Science. Think of a big glass beaker and you're pouring chemicals into it. Science. So A hand, but that thumb, that's an A. And A hand, but that thumb is outstretched a little bit. And you're alternating that circle. Okay, science. Now while we're here, biology, 
with a B. Okay, so we have science, biology, Bs. Okay, chemistry, I'll see with Cs. Chemistry. Okay, here's one not quite as common experiment with an E. You might see experiment with an E like this or to test. You're testing a hypothesis. Okay, so it's an experiment or an experiment. This is the sign for test. All right, you're testing something. Okay, and a lot of things all relate to Earth. Earth, let's make sure we get this one right. Here's that non dominant hand. See that? Back and forth. Earth, Earth. Okay, how'd you do? All right, let's move on to our next set. Okay, here we go. Read. To read. All right. Now, a couple things I want to talk about here, right? If you're supposed to read, I'm supposed to read. Okay? Or you might see read like this, right? Following the sentence on the page. All right? Either sign's correct. Okay? Oh, I read it. I already read your paper, read your answer, right? Read that book. All right? So, to read or read. Either one's fine. Directionally, you read, I read, that person reads. I have a book, what do you read? In some cases, you read a book. Fingers together, again, don't get sloppy. It's really important in your science that you're really enunciating. In enunciation in ASL, you don't do this. It's not book, it's book. Together, and that opens up book. Okay, and in this book, you have chapters. Take a C like this, chapter. Okay, oh, I read the chapter. Okay, I'm just showing you the sign here. Okay, oh, I read that chapter. Okay, chapter. You don't point it to the person. Okay, oh, I, fish. I already read that chapter. Okay, how about word? Word, word. Index finger here, word. One word, two words, okay? Word. How about a sentence? Sentence. I'm taking a nine, both hands, they meet, sentence. Sentence. Okay, and in this set here, English. English. See this hand? This hand comes on top. English. English. All right, all right. How about some of the people that you're about to meet in school? We have students. Students do what? Here's the sign for learn. Student. Now, if you remember from previous videos, this here is agency. It's a human being marker for some signs. Okay, in this case, student. Learn person. Student, all right? Now, hopefully that student is being taught by an absolutely wonderful, great teacher to teach. Two O's like this, it comes out, right? They're giving you knowledge. To teach, so teacher, person, teacher, okay? Student, learn, person, teacher, teacher. Okay, about principal, okay? Principal. This hand stays still, right? This P is going to rotate and down. This is the principal of the school. Principal, right? Now, within schools, you have assistant, lots of things. Okay, so assistant. Now, the way, way to think about this is this is the sign for help. Help. So an assistant, okay, assistant. Now, you have coaches in school. Coach. See the hand like this? It looks like the claw in a Disney film, all right? Coach. Coach. All right? How about a counselor, all right? This is the sign to advise. Let's do that one sideways for you. With your non-dominant hand, I am giving them information, advice or counsel. This is, so this is the sign for advice or counsel. Okay, so if I'm talking about a counselor, counselor, okay, 
this person who gives you advice, counselor, right? And each of these people have an office, an office. Two ways to do that. You've got this basic sign for room. See how it starts this way and squares off, okay, or office. Same way, squares off, all right? It depends on the person you're talking to, all right? Some will use this O to initialize it, and some will just say, oh, it's the principal's office, the principal's office, office, okay? All right, how about this one? Uh, in schools, we have a gym, a gym, okay? Think about jumping rope, okay? Exercise, gym, gym. You have gym class, class. C's like this, class. Gym, class. How about art? Art, and this one we're just gonna show you this one. Hand, pinky finger, to draw, right? Because you may have art class, might be drawing, it might be painting, Right? So we have different things that happen, but in the general topic, art, art. Okay, and in art, you learn and learn and learn lots of what colors? Colors in front of the lips, and the fingers rotate like that. Okay, colors. Colors, how about music? Music. Okay, music to sing. Okay, music. You've got drama. This is to act, theater, or drama class. A hands. That thumb's that stretched again, though. Did you catch that? Act, drama, theater. Okay. How about pencil? <laughs> you use a lot of pencils in school, don't you? Okay. Pencil. Do you see what I just did? The full sign originally was people would take the graphite lead of a pencil, put it on their tongue, and begin to write. Luckily, we don't do that very much anymore, okay? So the sign, full sign for pencil, pencil, pencil. You'll see it get contracted without the full pencil, okay? That's the sign, pencil, all right? Hopefully, you're building your vocabulary, okay? Let's move to the next set before we get into some practice sentences. Okay, let's move up a couple of grades, all right? We have school. We already talked about that. Again, don't be sloppy. It's not this. This is not anything, okay? School. So based on that foundation, we have universities. University. See the U? It comes off and up. University. College. College. Okay? So we have school twice. University. College. All right? Now we have elementary school, okay? Remember school like this. So we have elementary with an E, elementary school, okay? Oh, my son goes to elementary school, all right? Elementary. You have middle school, again, depending upon where you are, right? in your school district, middle. That was a fast one, middle. That hand starts here, curves down, and hits my palm, middle, middle school. Middle school. The next two we're just using initials. Junior high school. J R H S. J R, the abbreviation for junior. High school. Junior high. J R H S. Okay. If that's true, high school is probably what? H S. Okay. We just summarize. We just abbreviate it. There's another sign for you. Okay. Just summarize or to abbreviate. High school. High school. Right. Now. And we have different kinds of grades. Think about college, okay? Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Start here. Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. So that's how it's gonna go. Freshman. Five hand touching that ring finger, okay? Oh, hey, I'm a freshman, I'm a sophomore, I'm a junior, and I'm a senior. Yay, <laughs> for those who get ready to graduate, okay? And this is true, right, high school and college, okay? Freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Now, in college, you have a major. Not exactly a B hand, that thumb comes off a little bit, and I'm following tracking right here. Major, hey, what's your major? Okay, could be lots of things, right? We have health, 
H's, health, health, okay? We have philosophy, it's a P right above the brain here, philosophy, okay? Psychology, psychology, okay? Just support that cradle, that hand, psychology, okay? It could be business, business, okay? It's a B, back and forth along that nod down on the hand, business. Now, I'm going to show you two words on education. If this is learn, remember that? Education with an E, okay? And I've also seen education like this in, in lieu of teach. So we had learn, education, education, all right? Again, depends on the area that you're with and the people you're talking to, right? Use the signs that are working with the people you work with, okay? So education. So how about special ed? Special, this hand pulls up that finger, all right? Special education or special ed, okay? I am majoring in special ed or special ed. Or you know what? My major is counseling, okay? In the future, I want to be a counselor. There's a whole sentence there for you, okay? I want... Pull that back, okay? Like you're grabbing something, you're grabbing, okay? I want, and here's a great sign for all of us, here's a great mindset, to become. This is the sign for change, becoming something else, becoming something new, right? Hitting that goal. I am, I, I want to be a counselor. Do you remember that from before? To advise or to counsel. Right, a counselor. I am majoring in counseling. Right, there's some of the majors. Now, let's give you just a basic sentence, right, where you can substitute in a few of these things and use it the next time you're working with a deaf person. Okay, so let's give you a sentence structure so you have something to work on as you're putting all this ASL vocabulary together. Here's one of the most fundamental basic foundational sentences in American Sign Language, okay? It's going to contrast with English. So here we go. Think of time, topic, and comment, right? In American Sign Language, we set up the time, if there is a time frame in the sentence, first. Second, what are we talking about? What is the topic of the sentence? And then third, the comment. What do we want to say about it in the first place? Got it? Time, topic, comment. All right, let's do an easy one, okay? Next year, I will go to college. Okay, next year, I'm off to college. Next year, there's the time. College, all right, I'm going. Next year, I will go to college, right? Next year, you might have thought next year, but the real sign for next year is like year one ahead, okay? So we sign it next year. Next year, college, I'm going, all right? How about this one? This morning, my art class was so much fun, all right? So we have a time element. When? This morning, okay? What? my art class what about it it was so fun okay oh hey guess what this morning art class so fun the time the topic the comment this morning my art class was so fun don't forget that face make it look excited Make it look like it really was as fun as you mean to be. How about this one? Okay. In two years, I'll graduate from the university. Okay. In two years, I'll graduate from the university. Time element, two years. Next year, I want to throw that in. So he's two years, three years. In two years, okay, what's going to happen? At the university, I'm going to graduate. All right. Remember the signs? We had college, university, school, G, graduate, okay, graduate, okay? 
in two years, university, I'll graduate. I'll be graduating in two years. How about this one? Uh, my favorite subject is science. Okay, science is my favorite. Okay, is there a time element? There's not. Okay, so what's next? What's the topic? Science. Science, what about it? Science, my favorite. Science, my favorite. Okay, give me one more time one here. Now, principal, office, go. Hey, you get out of here, get to the principal's office. <laughs> oh, not, not too many of your kids get that one, but let's do it, okay? You go to the principal office right now would be the English sentence. If we're using the time, topic, comment, ASL structure, what's the time now? Okay, now. What are we talking about here? Principal, office, you go. Okay, you go to the principal's office right now. All right, take some of the vocabulary that you've learned. All right, use that time topic and comment structure, form your sentences, and then you'll be incorporating both the vocabulary and this basic sentence structure back to school with 55 ASL signs. Hey, would you do me a favor and subscribe? Let some other folks know if you've got a class or a club, some people that you sign with, all right? Send them to the channel and hopefully we'll continue to grow the channel and add more comments, questions, things I can answer as I help you on your ASL journey. Thanks.